anyways, guys, I think that's all I have to say here about this matter indefinitely. Unless something else happens that is, like, monumentally crazy, I think this right here is going to be the final time I'm going to speak on this subject. Or so I thought. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. Cringe humor aside, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is, you guessed it, another Susie Lou video. And I know some of you guys are getting a little bit sick and tired of seeing me make these videos. Believe me, I am sick and tired of fucking making these too. But here's the thing, I'm doing this out of principle because one of the biggest things I stand against on the site is fraudulent use of the copyright system to censor legitimate criticism, which is still happening even to this very moment. So let's get into the video. So, ladies and gentlemen, spoiler alert, Susie Lou won't stop mass flagging, but it looks like now we have ourselves a much more interesting sort of twist here, and by interesting, I'm talking about absolutely fucking ridiculous. John Swan tweets out the following, It looks like Susie Lou has sent a closed caption complaint to me too. Just get your cuck boyfriend Stegio to tell you that I am not bound by any closed captioning laws, you absolute mongs. Now, in the near 13 years I have been on YouTube, whether I was doing so as a content creator or as a consumer of the content on the site, not once have I ever heard of flagging down people's videos based on a closed captioning complaint. Like, that is some next level bullshit right there. And this right here is a screenshot that John Swan has in his tweet to showcase undeniable proof. And I will be linking all of these sources I use in the video in the description down below, so you can read these up at your own pace. And seems like John Swan ain't the only one getting the closed captioning complaint BS. We also have ourselves Nicholas Diorio tweeting out the same thing happening to him. I guess you people couldn't report my video for cyberbullying, so you're reporting me for not putting closed captions, LOL? Like, when I seen this, I was just facepalming hardcore. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. This is some big-time desperation right here to censor criticism that is 100% legitimate, 100% valid, and based on factual evidence. And this right here is something I want to point out in this video, too, because it's absolutely legitimate and a very, very good point. Just to be clear, I'm not sure if Susie pulled the trigger on this report, but when you've DMCA'd a dude last year and you're perfectly fine with abusing YouTube's report tool on a daily basis, I'm going to hold you accountable. And that's just it, you know, maybe for once Susie was not behind these closed captioning complaints, but when you have such a big history of flagrantly abusing the YouTube flagging system here, you right here are the first person that people people are going to look at and think that you're the one that did it. And honestly, there's no reason to believe the opposite of this because you yourself have even admitted that you have falsely flagged videos down that you don't like, and it's clear that you don't like criticism. So, I mean, you put the two together and the equation answer is pretty obvious. And as it turns out, we also have ourselves the quartering making a video on this subject in particular, and pay close attention to the title of the video. Susie Lou has new flagging operation. I got hit four times today, and she's continuing to delete evidence. That is absolute madness right here. I am just at an absolute loss for this. Like, what on earth is even happening at the YouTube headquarters? What is happening with YouTube behind the scenes? Like, I just, I really, really, really would like to know what their reasoning is behind allowing for such flagrant abuse of the system here to still be a massive problem. Like, what the fuck? And we also have ourselves Tipster here getting in on this as well. But there is something even more strange about this situation, and let's get to it right now. Because as you guys can see, we have ourselves a new video 
uploaded earlier today from Tipster, stating, Susie Lou just won't quit. She is still flagging my channel. Now, this right here, what is being showcased here, I'm going to link everything in the description down below so you guys can watch this all yourself. But to summarize this video right here, he talks about a privacy complaint that he got on his previous video. Now, there's also timestamps here when it comes to where the privacy complaint comes into play. But let's actually go to where the uh, timestamp is, and you will see just how absolutely ridiculous it is. So fast forwarding a little bit in his video, he highlights that timestamp in the video in question where he got the privacy complaint, and it's him talking about a public post that Susie Lou herself posted on her Instagram, which I might add, all of it is public and none of it is private. I think you guys can put the pieces together yourself, but... The fact that she is making a privacy complaint about something that she publicly posted is very, very, very contradictory. Like, this is just absolute bullshit here. Like, I don't think I even need to say anything more about it. Like, Jesus Christ. So there we go again, ladies and gentlemen. A another page written in the chapter of Susie Lou bullshit on YouTube. And you know what? I'm actually going to keep my mouth shut about whether or not this is going to be my last video on the subject. Because you know what? At this point, everything nowadays is unpredictable. And I never ever know what's going to happen. You know, I don't think anyone does. So I'm just going to wait in the winds. And I'm just going to uh, see how the situation plays out. And if I got to talk about it, then I got to talk about it. And the thing is, I want to first off say thank you guys so very much for being very patient and very understanding with me. And very supportive as well. I know that, you know, for some of you guys, videos like these aren't exactly easy to watch. And and I really apologize for that, you know? But at the same time, I'm not going to apologize making a stance out of principle. And once again, that principle being based on abuse from someone that just does absolutely not like being criticized. And here's the thing. When you are a public figure, or better yet, better yet, with you being a human being, you are always going to be open to criticism, whether it is in a public setting, whether it's in a private setting, whether it has something to do with work, whether it's something to do on your downtime. Especially when you're a public figure, you are putting yourself out there to be criticized. Whether it's bullshit or not, you yourself have to understand that that comes with the gig of being a public figure. You are going to be criticized no matter what. Whether it's valid or not, you're going to be criticized. I don't know how many more times I got to repeat that, but God damn it, man. It's like, it's common knowledge at this point. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, getting back to all of you guys, I want to say thank you guys again for tuning in to my content and watching this video through. I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. I call you guys legends for a reason because I appreciate the shit out of you guys. I would not be here without all of you amazing people to support my content and to, you know, also give me valid criticism when I need it because I know I'm not perfect. I never will be perfect. I openly welcome criticism. So if you ever at any point have anything to say and you feel that it is valid, and as long as, you know, you're respectful about it and stuff like that, I will listen you out, I will hear you out, and I will see what it is you have to say, and I will take it into strong consideration to see, okay, you know, maybe I gotta do better in this, or maybe I gotta do better in that, you know, maybe not come off so strong here, or maybe be a little bit strong here, basically you guys get the idea. If you got something to say, absolutely say it, you know? But thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. I'll see you guys in the next one.